Hi everyone, it was today that we came to know that Power Apps have given us this option of chat box in Power Apps. So today I'll quickly show you how we can create a chat bot and integrate it in our Power Apps. Uh, I previously have showed you how to do that uh, from the Power Virtual Agent um, site. So today let us uh, see how we can quickly do that and uh, integrate it in a Power App. So this is the Power App that will be integrating it. It's nothing. I just have added the welcome screen with the name that is the Procedure Shop. So let's just quickly go ahead. Okay, basic conversational board. This is what we want to build. So some of the major steps that it includes is first we have to create the bot then we have to publish it and depending upon our bot's performance we can improve our analytics and then we can also find new topics with AI. So uh, basically power virtual agents it all depends upon our business pattern and the type of business that we want to create our bot for. So let's see how this works. Uh, let me give it a name as uh, TST and let me select the language as English and on save. So this takes a bit of time. So once our uh, bot has been uh, like it has been generated with the name that we want to keep. So these are the three things that actually matters. That is the topics. Topics basically these are the pre-populated or uh, responses. You can say that we want our bot to uh, return in reply. So this is the thing that which we will edit. And the second, uh, the most important part is publishing our bot, and the third is to monitor our performance. So uh, let us keep the greeting as it is. So we'll just simply go back to the topic and see what all are present here so we can see that uh, a simple topic which basically consists of if there are any stores around so if you want you will keep it on or off depends upon your business needs since I won't be uh, needing that so I'll switch it off and the second one it can it is a simple topic but it has conditions like uh, suppose the question is that are you uh, what are suppose your customer is asking for what are the things available and then you give them the list of things and then you want after they choose the, uh, one of those things from the list you want them want to redirect them to a particular website or maybe to those options that you have available for them so for this we'll show you how this works so let us go ahead and do this Okay, so uh, buy items online. Uh, let me just delete this and uh, see and write something for my business model. The one that I'll be writing is uh, for demo one just to show how all of this works. So let me just write that. What are the alternatives? What else do you have? The more trigger phrases you write, the better the training will. So, uh, just since this is a demo, I'll just write three phrases. What more do you have? Okay, now uh, let me just save the topic. It is saved. Now I'll go to go to author in canvas. This is where our uh, conditions will follow and this is what we will edit. Okay, so this is uh, what our customer will ask and this is what we want to reply or what we want our bot to reply. So uh, let me just say we have a wide variety of chocolates and suppose uh, uh, then uh, the question is to their question is to what uh, state uh, will you be shipping suppose um, if it is um, based on India or any other part of the country so you populate the states according to your wish suppose I write it as India so maybe West Bengal Let me rewrite this as 
sorry Karnataka and let me just uh, keep uh, Oregon as Oregon and then uh, let us see what are the lines that it is following this conditions they are followed by some other conditions so let's see how this is working so when it comes to West Bengal, Karnataka and Oregon and other conditions this is what we want to reply to our customer that um, if they if it is apart from all the states mentioned there will be an additional shipping charge of suppose dollar 27.50 so 50 paise uh, I, I mean like uh, if it is according to INR then uh, rupees 27.50 paise this depends upon your business model and then you need to ask them if they are okay with the shipping price if they reply yes or no okay if they are okay then we'll add a condition that what item are you interested in purchasing we are focused on a few quality of items or you can write here what uh, chocolate And if they are not okay with the shipping charges, so you just simply reply that thank you, please come again. And then in the next multiple choice question, suppose here we'll write the name of the chocolates that are available. So it will be Cadbury on my side. Bonville. And Kit Kat. Yeah, so we see that if uh, the choice of the item is Cadbury, then we'll ask that we'll uh, reply back to the customer that get great choice for the supposed chocolate. And if it is born with great choice for the great choice, simply suppose you are writing them as great choice. Go get them tiger let us just reply to them like this and if they are satisfied with them so we'll uh, say then that okay this pva underscore item it tells us okay suppose if they have chosen category then and if they are okay with this then we say great i am adding a great is not this one i'll just add that great or great choice or anything that i am adding category to your card if you want let me just delete since i have mentioned great choice for the chocolate there and then we return that uh, to complete your order please go to your card thank you so this is the end of my bots conversation let me just save and the most initial part will be checking how our bot works so uh, it is saved now let me just copy one of those phrases and see how it's working so when i reply this this is what my bot should reply that we have a wide variety of chocolates if it doesn't reply this it means that our bot is not working fine yeah so uh, we re uh, they replied that uh, we have a wide variety of chocolates to what state will you be shipping so let me just type in a state which is not mentioned here so let me just type uh, suppose anything Suppose maybe Washington and let's see uh, they should reply that we have a shipping charge of rupees to 27.50 if I reply no they'll say that it's okay thanks uh, for shopping with us or thank you please come again now this is how it should work and this is how it has perfectly worked for me so let's go back to topic and see what are the topics that we have on for it yeah so these are the things so let me just uh, switch uh, off rest of the to user topics and just keep the one that I have uh, selected okay so once it's done what we need to do is we need to publish it so let me just if you want you can also go to analytics and see how your bot is doing so let's publish it
so this is saying that uh, it has been published it will become available to users to your users within the next 15 minutes so it means that it will take some time so let's see if uh, i can go ahead and add this in my power apps for the time being all that is saying that it takes 15 minutes We can see that from a chatbot list, we have the list of bots that we have created and this is the bot that I have created. So let's see how this works. Okay, so let me just type hi. It replies uh, with the greeting text since I have uh, not uh, kept the greeting text untouched. So let me ask what more do you have? And then it says that it has a wide variety of chocolates. So let me just type in the name of the state and then suppose let me write Cadbury. Yes. So uh, now we can see that uh, it works quite perfectly for us and uh, it is also available in our uh, Power App environment. So from here we can use it in our Power Apps. So this is how we could uh, simply create a Power App chatbot without using any lines of code. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.